In this reaction, we have aluminum and nitric acid reacting, Al plus HNO3, and then we end up with this aluminum nitrate and hydrogen gas. This is in dilute nitric acid. If you had concentrated nitric acid, you'd actually get different products. So in dilute nitric acid, let's count the atoms up on each side so we can balance the equation. We have one aluminum, we have one hydrogen, and because I have an NO3 here, and I also have this NO3 here, I'm just going to call NO3 one thing. That'll make the balancing quite a bit easier. So we'll call one NO3 here. Over on the product side, we have one aluminum, two hydrogens, and then three of these NO3s. So it looks like it might be easiest for us to balance the NO3s first. We have three here and one here. If I put a three in front of the HNO3, that means one times three. That'll give me three hydrogens. And then the NO3, we have one of these times the three. So now we have three of these NO3s. Those are balanced. We have a bit of a problem here, though. Our hydrogens, we have three and we have two. So why don't we get this to an even number? If I got this to, say, 6 by multiplying it by 2, then I could just change the coefficient on the hydrogen here, and everything would be balanced. So I'm going to take, and instead of 3, put 6 in front of the HNO3, and now I need to update these numbers. So now I have 1 hydrogen times 6. That's 6 hydrogens. And then for the NO3s, I have 1 of these times 6. I have 6 NO3s. All right, well, that caused problems for NO3, but I think we can fix that by putting it 2 here. And if we do that, we have aluminum. We have 1 times 2, and that would give us 2 aluminums. But we have 3 times the 1, so we have 3 NO3s, and we multiply 2 times the 3. That gives us 6 NO3. So the NO3s are balanced. Now the aluminums and the hydrogens, if they're not balanced, Easy to fix, though. I could put a 2 in front of the Al. 1 times 2. That'd give me 2 Al's. Hydrogens, I need 6. I have only 2. If I put a 3 here, 2 times 3, that'll give me 6. And then this equation's balanced. Really, for this one, if you treat this NO3 as one thing, you're going to spend a lot less time counting up individual oxygens and nitrogens. It just makes things move a lot quicker. Either way, if you just did them individually, you'd get the same answer, too. So these are the coefficients for Al plus HNO3 yields AlNO33 plus H2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.